quite streamlined there. A little deep on the start. One thing that you do is you, you tend to move the head a lot. And when the head moves, as you can see, I'm moving that head down. My body's going to go in that same direction. So what you want to do is you want to keep the head more in line with the body. So if I kept my head in that position right there throughout the stroke, in line with my upper body, I'm going to lean more into every stroke. And if I lean more into every stroke, I'm going to not tend to go more of an up and down um, situation. You want to keep breaststroke flowing. You want to keep it going forward all the time. And the one thing that you want to watch too is you're kind of bringing those hands and those elbows in really close to the body. So as you get more tired and you get into a, a, a uh, longer breaststroke, that's going to create more of a hiccup and it's going to create more of a slower tempoed breaststroke because you're stopping each time and you can kind of see you're stopping there. Get the feet turned out just a little sooner and work on your timing. As you finish out that stroke, you want then the feet to finish their kick. It's kind of like that extra oomph at the end. But you can see there, head, head position is a big thing. Don't want to drop the chin in next to the neck and don't want to have a lot of movement in it because if I bring my, my head down and in, I'm actually going down, I'm actually going back before I go forward. That's just something to watch. Great job. Keep up the good work. Okay, we're going to look at Alex's breaststroke underwater. A little deep there. A little deep there. Want to watch that. Want to watch how deep we go. Because now i got to come way up high and work my way back up. So you want to kind of enter the water, plane, and then come back. Okay, and that's almost a little too deep what I've draw, uh, drawn there. One thing that you worked on a lot this week, which I think has helped you, is the head position. And you can see there, my head's still a little too high. If I could show the deck, I'm looking more at the deck. I need to be looking more down at an angle. But the other thing that you need to really focus on is, is you want to make sure that you're not dropping the elbows too far in. I like the speed of the arms. The speed is good. So here I come off. And see, here, here's, here's one thing that I was, I was talking about during the week, which is my hands. I don't want to bring the hands in too close to the body because when I do that, now I've made everything more vertical. Okay, my, you can see my hips are kind of lower, my, my knees are lower, and now my stroke has become vertical. And when the stroke becomes vertical, that means that I have to go, I'm going to have to go up before I can go forward. And so that's just something to think about. When we talked about the, the ski jumper mentality in terms of keeping the head in line with the body, that's going to make me go more like in this motion across the pool. So that's just something to think about as we continue to look here. The other thing is watch the head position, watch where I'm looking. Right now you're looking straight ahead. We want to be looking more down at an angle. And remember, you want to scoop the hands in. You want to scoop the hands in and then shoot forward, but you want to shoot forward at the same level. So if I scoop the hands in here, I want to shoot back out at the same level. You're kind of picking the hands, you're scooping the hands up and then scooping the hands down. Okay, and that's going to shoot everything down, but now i got to come back up with my body and I'm going to probably come up more uh, vertical. Overall, great job. Keep up the good work and I like the changes you made during the week.